Pop-Tarts. No matter what time of day, these delicious pastries are always a great choice. In this video, you're about to see me use these to put a little spin on one of the most classic sandwiches of all time. This is the 10,000 calorie Pop-Tart PB&J food challenge. What's happening everybody eric here back at you with a brand new video and you guessed it a brand new food challenge now before we dive into any of this deliciousness you already know the drill if you haven't done so already smash that subscribe button down below now as you guys saw i got a little bit creative with today's video and i was really feeling a little bit of peanut butter and a little bit of jelly but instead of good old-fashioned bread I felt like I'd switch it out for one of the absolute best pastries and treats that are known, Pop-Tarts. So right here, we actually have 32, count them, Pop-Tarts in four different flavors. And in between each one, as you guys saw, is a little bit of jam and a little bit of peanut butter. So also there is just under about a half of peanut butter and jelly left in these jars as well too. So as we go along or maybe at the very end, I'm gonna finish that off as well and just show you guys. And here we got a little bit of cashew milk in a trusty mug. Don't worry, be happy. Trusty mammoth mug full of water. And there's the cashew milk that was in there. So we're gonna move that to the side. Now, as far as rules go, I'm not gonna give myself a time limit, but we're gonna try and see if we could wrap this one out in under an hour. So for transparency, we've got 152, Wednesday, May 11th, right there for you. Uh, so I'm gonna get this separated just a little bit and then we're gonna get things going. So we're just gonna split this in half. 
and that should be good enough to keep it, I think. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So I'm just gonna show you guys here up close. So this is split in half. So again, 32 Pop-Tarts, as you guys can see right there. And I'm gonna break down the flavors for you as we go along. Beautiful creation. Might as well start right up here. Well, it's a triple decker, so whatever we grab off, if it's stuck together, that's what we get. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, wow. So, that'd be hard to see the peanut butter and jelly that's in here, but just you guys can get a look-see here. Oh, that's good stuff. So, just a little curious. If you guys like Pop-Tarts, here in Canada, there's only about six or seven different flavors, depending where you go. But I know in other countries, especially the United States, there's so, so, so many. So if you have a lot of selection or even just a few selections of flavors of Pop-Tarts, let me know what your favorite flavor is in the comments below. Just curious. Now for this one here, it looks like I got two blueberry and one raspberry together. But oh. Blueberry sugar, hi. Blueberry strawberry, hi. Blueberry strawberry and lots of sugar, hi. Blueberry strawberry and lots of sugar, hi. Remix came early this time. Let's add a little bit of something on here first. Just to see. Oh. Can't put peanut butter on, not expect me to, you know, do that. These are two raspberries, flavor wise. <laughs> All the peanut butter. Mm. Oh, so good. <coughs> so good. Oh. Oh. Last bite for this. Mm. So I didn't mention what four flavors. I did mention there were four flavors, but oh, there's blueberry, I believe raspberry, uh, cookies and cream, and then uh, berry berry are the four flavors I went with. So mostly berries to go with like the jam and peanut butter flavor. Um, and then I wanted to try something different, so I got cookies and cream at the end. Ooh. Two more raspberry. Oh, jeez. Coffee milk. Huh. Still strawberry. Oh! Hmm. It's so weird when I do this. It's 
so many songs pop into my head, but it's also because of from recording, I have basically complete silence, minus the clock that you may or may not hear in the background that I usually remember to take the battery out of, but you know, this time around, I guess I just like adding the little ambiance of the ticking there. So if you do hear that, That's what that is. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of songs just pop into my head. So I got like Elvis stuck in my head right now. It's just so weird. But anyways, let's dive into this mixed berry. Do a quick count here. Well, those eight of the cookies and cream because I haven't had them yet. Nine. About halfway, so there's 19 left. Here it takes about half. Right on cue, go halfway. Just downhill slope with the energy. Oh, a couple more of these wild berries left. And then we're at the blueberry. One more strawberry and then cookies and cream. Sticky, icky, icky. Well, it looks like this is the last of the wild berry. Right here. All right, so ugh, let's give you a time update. My hands are so sticky. Uh, 216 and 217, I think I just changed to. Same date, Wednesday, May 11th. All right, so apologies. I'm a chewing right now, but I just looked up in my I gotta figure out something with my camera. It just cut off after a certain point in time of recording. I think it's around a half hour or so. So obviously that's where we're at in time-wise. But um, apologies, notice anything, but we we'll keep this going. Blueberry right here. That's what we got left.
I'm gonna give you guys a little ASMR here. All right, uh, well, this is our last raspberry or strawberry. And then it's just the eight cookies and cream. So we're at nine remaining. Oh, cashew milk time. So refreshing. All right, so we got eight cookies and creams left. And there. <sighs> Make some room in the old stove match. Mm. Not really my favorite. Load it up. Right, because it was at the bottom. Ooh, everything got compressed, so they're all like so stuck together and they like, fall apart. And no room in my stomach came on. Ain't no room for all these Pop Tarts today. Ain't no room in my stomach anymore. She's always gone. Anytime the peanut butter to stay. Uh, <laughs> Made no sense. We got four left. Yeah. Quite slow. Good God. Ooh, so much. Okay. Keep it going. Almost there. We've got last two right here. Oh, they're totally gonna fall apart right in my hands right now. All right. Oh, last bite. 
coming up. I hyped that one up a little bit too quick. <laughs> Last bite of the Pop Tarts. it for the pop tarts a little bit of crumbs but so we're just gonna finish off the peanut butter here so we've got about I think like two maybe three max tablespoons right in there finish that off and the jam and we done Okay. Just a tiny little spoon left here. And that's pretty much it. Oh my goodness. Okay. A little bit of jam left. Finish the sweetness off. The last time I did this with the Reese peanut butter cups, which if you haven't seen, it was actually one of my first food challenges. So you should totally go check that out. I'm gonna put a link up on the screen for you right now. Oh, very rich. It definitely went down a little bit better. Oh. All right, my scoop. All right, challenge is complete. Okay, let's get a time update. Final time, 2.53. So I think I was just under an hour, give or take maybe right at an hour. Total calories and macros are gonna be up on the screen for you right about now. But I'm also gonna toss a few links up from some previous food challenges of mine that I think you're gonna enjoy. But beyond that, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. Please just remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And toss this video a good old fashioned thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.